most consumers don't have any idea what is involved from the time that Farmer John makes a decision that he prepares the soil and he puts the plants and you know it will take five to six years before he can even pay his investment and and the issues of labor and regulations and wages and uh, you know all these obstacles consumers don't have no idea consumers should go to the grocery store and they buy the blueberries they enjoy them uh, and they put them in the ice cream or the cereals in the morning but all the absolutely nightmares that take place before then, they don't have no idea of this. We are at the Thad Cochran Southern Horticultural Laboratory in Popperville, Mississippi. It is a satellite laboratory for the USDA Agricultural Research Service. After Hurricane Camille, the tongue oil industry was completely destroyed along the Gulf Coast, and uh, they were looking for alternative crops that would grow on the types of soils we have here. Production was just beginning to take off in areas like North Carolina and Georgia, and uh, it looked like a promising crop for our area, so I began to devote some effort and time into uh, uh, seeing how different varieties would perform here. Ever since the inception of our work here, we work closely with growers, uh, testing our materials on their farms. And my role is to, to work with them, with any issues they have, to educate them on new research that's coming out, and that's what I kind of do here and why my position is placed here, is to work with the researchers here and transfer the knowledge that they're creating to the growers in the field. Usually what happens is the, the grower will call me and say, I want you to come and look at this. And I'll go up to his place, talk with him, listen to what he says about the problem or the issue that he's having. And then we go and look at the plants in the field. So I've been to Mike Pepper's place a few times, especially when he had a, a problem with frost injury. It's their goal uh, to uh, help the farmer. That's their mission. I had some problems when the cold weather came in and it freezes the flowers. Then it's real susceptible to, to some fungus, or botrytis and so forth. And I saw some instances of that and took pictures of it and went back and verified it. I would have never thought when we started this so many years ago that you'd be taking tissue sand, you know, taking leaves off and getting them, okay, what does this leaf need? I think the honeybees, I think they say they're better at, at the pollinating and so forth, but you do want them both, and I have them both. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this one. Every variety has different good things and bad things. If the harvest season, uh, if we get into the harvest season and it just happens to rain a lot, these blueberries will hold together and they won't split open. We're looking at a premier, rabbit eye premier. This is a lapahol. This is the hot new variety that the people are so pleased with. It's just unreal fruit load. Uh, this is an early, uh, late blooming, but early producing fruit, which is gonna be great for our industry in the state because you're, you're coming in a little later with the flowers, but then again, you, you, you produce blueberries very early. Uh, price determines whether I'm in a, uh, what market situation I'm in. And we're in a uh, process market. We're at the end of the season. Rain hurt, uh, no doubt, that's what, that's what ran us out of the fresh market. And it's a three, it's about a three week window that we have to go fresh. I hit it for a week and a half till rain set in. 
You will uh, see these more likely in a, uh, a food mix that you'll buy, whether it's blueberry pancakes, muffins. Uh, these go to a uh, processor that, that makes frozen berries available in the grocery store. Well, Miss Lou is the name of the cooperative, and this is also the receiving and shipping station for the cooperative. But it's interesting, that is Mike Pepper's fruit. The early history, we had a, a paper mache cup that we cover with cellophane and hold the cellophane with a rubber band. That's long gone, long gone. Now there are uh, plastic clamshells that is all done at high speed with uh, specialized equipment, and now you have color solders and you have soft solders. A tremendous amount of technology to be able to pack blueberries today. Normally, we are in production sometime around the 22nd to the 23rd of May. As the season moves on, that you get a bigger and bigger volume in the marketplace and the price begins to, to fall, okay? And uh, this is why we change from the fresh market to the processed market to deal with this, these changes, this variation of price. If you buy a frozen blueberry and you keep it in your freezer at home, in the morning you wash them to thaw them out and then you put them in your cereal, it'll see taste just as good as it. Well, not quite as good if it was fresh, but it's pretty good. The best part of the business is the last day that we're open and when we shut down. <laughs>